What's up guys? It is free range meat number seven. I think number seven. Our uh, FedEx truck is blocking the street. So I don't know what's going on. Causing quite a bit of traffic. Maybe I gotta help him. Let me, let me, yeah, I gotta go direct traffic. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was not fun. This street is a nightmare. problem is the street is so busy that when these trailers have to back up it's basically like you have to go out and stop the traffic to get them in but whatever it's probably why this guy moved from this location anyway uh, turkeys are coming in next week guys so definitely place your turkey pre-order they're coming at the end of well by the time this video is posted so yeah this video is posted on Monday the 6th the turkeys are gonna come on the 10th, end of this week to ship the following Monday, the 13th. So guys, please place your turkey orders as soon as possible for Thanksgiving. And uh, we should have extras and we will be shipping turkeys moving forward in general, probably for the rest of the year, early next year. Maybe we'll do some ground turkey breasts, maybe we'll do some smoked turkey breasts, I don't know, stuff like that with the turkeys. Our uh, post office guy came in time, so I'm glad all the post office orders are going out. Um, that's what that background noise is. If you guys are interested in like a dairy pickup in New York, maybe we'll start it at the end of this year, uh, early next year, we'll do maybe like a weekly dairy delivery because sometimes the milk isn't that affordable to ship, mainly for the milk. So if you guys are interested in a weekly dairy pickup in the city, send an email to info at with what your order would be. Uh, we don't have that many inquiries yet, but we will probably do a separate video on it as well as a uh, uh, an email. Uh, so yeah, all the post office orders are being sent today. Uh, since our ice delivery comes Tuesday now, we, uh, we run out of ice and then on Monday, we just ship all of the egg and foods orders. So we get them all out. My guys are loading up all the egg and meat orders onto the FedEx trailer, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's uh, a little after. I'm gonna break my neck. I don't know who's spilled water here, but it's about 3.30 on Monday. So we're wrapping up the day here. Not really much to show you guys. Uh, uh, my employees are actually taking off uh, Wednesday and Thursday. It's a holiday for their country, so. It's gonna be like a slower week. I think Wednesday I'm gonna go buy uh, go buy my Amish buddies and do some chickens. And then Thursday I might just, I don't know if I have anything to do on Thursday. There are a few things that I have to do, but like for me to come down here by myself and try to fill orders myself on a Wednesday would be like a nightmare. It's a lot of work to get everything set up for the orders and then fill them myself. It'd be, I'd be here like nine hours myself just trying to get a few orders out. So. I'll have to think about that. Hopefully we could just get everything out by tomorrow, Tuesday. Yeah, th those are the main things, guys. Turkey pre-orders, get them in and let us know if you guys want a dairy pickup. Uh, we should have some restocks and stuff this week, but I think most of the stuff I'm gonna be showing you is Friday, Saturday. We might have a busy weekend. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow, Tuesday. What's up, guys? It is Tuesday. Day's pretty much over already. Uh, very busy because my guys are taking off tomorrow and Thursday for I think it's a Spanish holiday, so we're gonna be closed. So we had to get all the orders out today, which my guys did. And after I showed them how to print out the orders themselves, they were able to without, with a little bit of an error. Um, they accidentally canceled the orders on the foods website uh, somehow. So I had to send out an email to the people that got the canceled orders explaining, hey, uh, there was a, an employee training error and you guys have to, it wasn't that bad. I think it was like, seven or eight orders where we, they accidentally canceled them. But outside of that, they printed, because we had meat orders from yesterday and the day before. So we sent everything out and then we sent out like the 10 orders that were placed uh, last night into today, Tuesday. So all the orders are sent out this week. My guys are gonna take uh, the two days off, whatever they wanna do. I got uh, some milk crates that I gotta bring over to my Amish buddies tomorrow because we forgot to put them on the truck last Friday. And uh, also, I need to uh, go see my chicken uh, farmer tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll see the turkey farm too. But the main thing is 
Uh, my dairy farmer ran out of containers to put the product in and I usually get them for him So I got to go pick some up tomorrow and bring them to him So that's what I'm doing tomorrow and Thursday. So I don't think I'm gonna film those days uh, We're gonna be closed, which is unusual. So maybe FedEx is, and stuff are gonna come and I'm not gonna try to get in and I'm not gonna be here But I don't know because like there's not anything super important that has to be done So I'm not gonna like come in here Wednesday Thursday open up everything myself and, uh, and just like do a bunch of work when I can just like do a longer day on Friday. All right, what's going on in the freezer? So we got in two meat deliveries. I got to sort these out before uh, before we leave today. So on that meat order, we got a lot of chuck back in stock, which is going to be for like the chuck steaks and and the soup because we are out of the beef barley soup and we're out of the the beef and the bone broth. So we have to make one of those this weekend and the other one next week. Restock some beef cheek. Uh, we're restocking some venison trim, the, the ground venison. Uh, we got marrow bones back in stock. The canoe bones back in stock, a little more expensive, but we got them. Oh, we finally got lamb heads too. We've been out of those for a while. And then we got a lot of prime rib roast for the holidays. So if you guys want like, like prime rib for Thanksgiving, Christmas or New Year's, we're gonna we're gonna have that now. Um, so not a crazy amount of prep work that needs to be done on that meat. Uh, should be a pretty quiet weekend, depending on what comes in from the Amish farmers on Friday. So after you know we take the two days off, when we're back, we should get in a lot of eggs uh, to restock. I think that's the main thing on Friday, and then the pork, the rest of the items in the pork share should come in. So those are going to be available. Only thing I'm a little worried about is the. Some of the chicken eggs are coming in like the cardboard boxes, which break a little easier than the plastic, but I don't make money anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to care when you don't have much to lose. So I think that's going to be it for today, Tuesday vlog. Still waiting on that, uh, that order for the rest of the organ supplements powders, which I'm concerned about because once something gets stuck in customs, you don't know if it's going to be a week or two months. And then we're also waiting on another package that was accidentally sent to the Bronx address that we had to reroute. So hopefully those come in this week. If not whatever. I'll see you guys for probably, I won't see you guys until Friday. I, could come, I might come down here myself. I don't know. But I'm not going to like, you know, sit down here all day just to, to wait for deliveries and stuff. All right, guys, it is Friday. On Wednesday, I ended up driving over to the Amish farmers. That was a long day. Went to see my egg farmer and my turkey farmer. Everything's looking good. Eggs are back. Turkey's coming Wednesday of next week. So I think I said in the beginning of this, you guys need to pre-order the turkeys. I made a joke about how like me and like 10 Amish guys are gonna show up to your house and, and hog tie you if you don't order our turkeys. The Amish are heavily against violence, so I would kind of like tell them that we're going to go sell the turkeys and then they would just be like kind of be standing behind me as intimidation factor. But little do you know that they wouldn't hurt a flower. Anyway, I'll stop the nonsense. <laughs> um, I haven't slept in like three days. My liver is fried. Um, Wednesday night, Thursday night, I didn't like sleep at all. Or no, uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I didn't sleep at all. And then last night was kind of okay. So I'm not feeling so hot. Thursday, I did come down to work a little bit, but my stomach was a little messed up, so I didn't do that much work. Uh, so I was here by myself when my guys are off, but my guys are back here today, and they've been doing a lot of work. Uh, we have an extra guy working now because one of my guys uh, might be going home next month. I don't know if he's coming back, but we have a replacement, and now we have an extra guy for a month, so everything should be getting done. But let me show you guys what we got today. Way too much butter. Way too much butter. I'm gonna go broke paying this guy for this butter. More importantly, we finally have eggs. We got a full pallet of chicken eggs and maybe almost one more pallet. So this is our original farmer and these are two more farmers we were able to find that are doing free range corn and soy free. That these, these eggs were way more expensive. But, uh, and there's even some more over here. So we got another hundred dozen over there so we shouldn't sell out in in one day but 
we might, but the, we know now the eggs are coming in nice, all chicken eggs. Then we have uh, the duck eggs, decent amount of duck eggs and quail eggs over there. And over here is uh, some cheese. We are restocking some cheese that we ran out of. Pretty much everything. Cheddar, Gouda, Asiago, Emmentaler, Gruyere, everything came in. So we're probably gonna be spending a lot of time packing up the egg orders this week. And then we have a few more things to do on the meat end. We're gonna try to finish the beef and barley soup this weekend because those mushrooms and the vegetables are not good for more than a week or two. And uh, we have to grind up some more venison to restock the venison. The lamb heads are finally back in stock. We've been missing these for like a few months now. You can't really tell. Uh, we got two layers of vacuum bags on these so that uh, they stay nice and fresh. And then we also finally restocked the canoe marrow bones. Marrow bones back in stock. Plenty of canoe marrow bones. Over here we got prime rib roast for the holidays. So if you guys don't want, uh, if you guys don't want like a turkey, you get nice chunks of prime rib off that. And there's like a few more random restocks. Like we got some venison rack, we got uh, rabbit kidney, and we got like beef cheeks too. Yeah, so I really need to fill all the non-meat orders because I didn't do those the past two days. Like Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I'm gonna do those orders. It shouldn't take me more than an hour. And then I really need to uh, get home, get on my computer and uh, restock all the eggs in the dairy and send out an email for you guys. Uh, that's the priority right now. Yeah, biggest thing is we're gonna have a lot of eggs shipping out next week and then the turkeys are gonna come in on Wednesday. That's gonna be that's gonna be a big shipment of turkeys because I ordered a lot of turkeys because like based on my customers, I thought you guys were gonna buy a lot of turkeys. So we ordered at least a few hundred. I don't think we've sold even half of them. So it's a lot of money up front in Turkey that I didn't sell yet. So and I gave you guys a good price, like I'm breaking even, but lesson learned. Uh, anyway, I got I gotta go, guys, because I gotta get some stuff done, and I want to restock the website because a lot of you guys are waiting for eggs. So I will see you guys tomorrow for Saturday. We should be a little more relaxing. What's up, guys? It is Saturday. I don't look half bad for uh, not sleeping four nights in a row. Uh, so I got the camera set up here just because I keep forgetting to talk about a few different things. Uh, the eggs we sent out last week, some of them were a little smaller because. You know, the chicken has just started laying. So if you guys did get some small eggs, just send us a picture and we'll give you like a 25% a credit on your order to compensate for the, the size difference in the eggs. Uh, pork share should now be available on the website. Uh, I showed you guys yesterday. Eggs are fully stocked. Duck eggs, chicken eggs, quail eggs, everything's in stock. I was a little nervous because the eggs didn't sell out that quickly and now I committed to this other farmer buying more eggs from them. So hopefully you guys buy the eggs. Uh, I did have a few reviews to read. Thank you so much. The water kefir has literally saved my boyfriend's digestive system. Love your products. And then we have a review for the meat granola. I was hesitant in buying this. I didn't know if it would be sweet or taste like savory meat, but to my surprise, it's very sweet and doesn't taste like meat at all. Great high protein snack on the go. Yeah, that's, that's what I really like about that meat granola. It does not taste like meat, but it's actually mostly beef protein. Uh, then we have a review for the grass-fed prime rib. <laughs> Best thing I ever ate. It's gone forever, eternal sadness. I mean, if it was that good, you guys would have bought it. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to bring the prime rib back uh, in a few weeks or so. I think if, uh, when we get the farm, uh, we should be able to do stuff like that every week. Uh, Five-star review for the Iberico Pork Secreto. It was amazing. Grilled simply with some spices of ancient Rome, which I had bought twice as much. Okay, what are, what are spices of ancient Rome? We need, we need, some, uh, we need some description. But uh, speaking of pork, did I already say it? My brain is so fried. Pork share inventory is complete. You're going to get pork rib chop ground pork, pork ribs, liverwurst, pork shoulder chop, ham, and bacon. So there's a limited amount of bacon, but for the most part, we have like a pretty good amount of shares. I think there's at least 
30 to 40 pork shares that are going to get every single item. So you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six. Those seven items, I think the pork share is probably going to be around 10 pounds. But when you guys go on the website, it's gonna be one of the first things you see. Uh, what's also new up there at the top, you'll see like the pasture raised turkey and the fresh ground chicken breast. But uh, let's take a quick look around today and then uh, I gotta do a little bit of work as usual. I'm so exhausted. I've been doing this like blood work experiment to try to market some products. So like my diet and my schedule is all messed up, but it should get better this week. So we just did some office work. We, we got almost all the orders printed out. I gotta show my guys how to print the orders today. That's gonna take half an hour. Plenty of checks to send. I'm going broke paying everyone. And when I pay that Amish turkey farmer for those turkeys, I'll be really broke. And then we got all that chicken, the laying hens that are, uh, that aren't selling because we got to grind it up. So not in a good spot financially right now. I got the vinyl curtains moved over here because we got the heater running now. I think you guys can hear it. Those doors are closed. I got new vinyl strips over here that go to the floor. So basically this like this whole area is pretty much enclosed. So maybe the air circulation isn't that great, but at least it'll keep the heat in. I think I showed you guys everything in the fridge yesterday. Uh, we have the ingredients ready here for the beef barley soup that we're gonna finish. And all of our cheeses are restocked, freshly cut. A2A2 uh, Colby and A2A2 cheddar, these are more affordable from the local Amish farmer. And then we have all the artisanal European cheeses, Manchego, Gruyere, I don't know why my, my guys are doodling. Apparently he's sad about the Gruyere and he's happy about the Manchego. Asiago, I don't know what kind of face that is. Pecorino Romano, no more artwork, but we got Parmigiano, American Cheddar, A2A2 A2 Gouda, this is also from the farm Fontina, Blue Cheese, Emmentaler, and this is the other Gouda, the European Gouda cheese, so all the cheeses are restocked. Yeah, so quite a bit of restocks this week, especially the eggs. Uh, beef barley soup was sold out for like a week or two, and this new recipe, although we don't have the equipment set up to, to make it a little nicer, which might not happen. The, I think the cost of installing that equipment is going to be more than I paid for it, so I can't really afford to do it. I might just have to resell everything. But uh, the new additions to the barley soup, as I was saying, are wine, and the recipe is slightly altered. So should be a little better. Should be a little better. I showed you guys everything new in the fridge yesterday, but now the pork share is all ready. So those are the pork ribs. This is the ground pork. These are the pork chops. Uh, this is the, the half pound bacon portions. And then this is the one pound pork ham. This is really nice. This is really delicious. I was having some of this yesterday. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Very simple. Organic sugar and sea salt are the only two ingredients. Very small amount in the brine. Yeah, I showed you guys the lamb heads yesterday. Ground venison is fully restocked at only like $10 a pound, great price. Yeah, we sent out an email today as a reminder for the turkeys. And then we're going to send out an email tomorrow just explaining like all, all the new fresh products we got in stock. And guys, again, keep in mind, when you're when you're buying stuff, you're, you're really supporting local Amish farmers. You know, you're giving them a much better price than they would get for their product than if like any of these big distributors would come in. Like any of those popular brands that you see in Whole Foods and the big supermarket stores, they basically go to these Amish farmers and they pay them like half of what they should be getting paid for their milk and stuff. So since we're kind of like... Uh, a more direct sales branch for the Amish farmers. We're able to get them a much better price. And then uh, maybe if you guys are interested, if we start doing the the weekly pickups in the city or New York or something, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Some more stuff's coming next week. I guess I'll just show you guys that in next week's vlog. Uh, but for now, I can't remember anything else. So I will see you guys tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah, that steam kettle need to like dig up the concrete to put a drain in the hood guy 
the, the hood guy that quoted me on installing the hood said total price 2500 which is kind of crazy considering it's almost all labor and he said he needed a $1,500 deposit for the um like the 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 vent i was like dude it's it's a it's a cylindrical piece of aluminum there's no way it costs him more than a few hundred bucks so i was like that's okay just tell me where to pick up the uh, hood vent order it for me and i'll pay for it haven't heard a fucking word from the guy so some dishonest business going on as typical with people i fucking deal with but go figure i guess i'll just leave that stuff sitting in the front there <laughs> I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have bought it, you know, I wouldn't have bought it. We got that big hood over there. I think that was like a thousand dollars. Steam kettle was very expensive. Exhaust fan was a few hundred. And then we got the, the tilt skillets in there between the aisles, so. Yeah, all in is about $10,000 worth of stuff that I really shouldn't have bought. Uh, and then, I mean, the prices were, were too good, guys. Like. All that stuff brand new is about $75,000, so. But maybe we'll, we'll get it installed next year or something, but for now, um, we'll see, I don't know. I don't know. What's up, guys? It is Sunday. I still haven't slept like four days now. My liver is cooked, <laughs> uh, but I don't feel too horrible. I don't think I really have much to show you guys today. Uh, I have to fill some orders. Uh, I gotta show my guys the uh, the meat orders on the computer and uh, my guys have been packing up the meat orders all morning and they're gonna do the egg orders now so we can ship them out first thing tomorrow yeah nothing in the fridge we just got to get all these eggs and shipping containers I guess the only real thing to tell you guys today is the beef barley soup is looking good it will be in stock by Monday or Tuesday so when this video is posted you guys should be able to buy it again yeah, my guys did all the orders in the freezer. We're ready. Uh, we packaged up plenty of goat testicles. I think these are gonna be on uh, on a discount. I think the goat testicles are gonna be like only seven or eight dollars each. And the pork share is fully available on the website. Uh, I'll put a description up here of what you're getting. I think it's gonna be three, no, no, it's two ground pork, one pork ribs, one pork chop, shoulder chop, two regular pork chops, and then we got some ham and bacon. Uh, I'll put the description up here now, but it's like six and a half pounds of pork, about seven pounds of pork actually for $65. So, so I wanna keep it like low and reasonably sized so you guys can get, you know, five or six pounds of pork for like $50, $60. And then as we run out of a few things, I think we're gonna run out of the uh, the shoulder chop and the ribs first, so there should be plenty of like bacon, liverwurst, ham, the stuff you guys like. There should be plenty of that to go around for most of the share. So then like as we run out of a few things, it'll get cheaper. You know, you'll get four pounds of pork for $40 until we're down to the last thing uh, to evenly distribute the share. So that's really it for this week's vlog, guys. Uh, I'm sticking it out. <laughs> Even though I'm not feeling so good, I made it through this week and hopefully uh, next week is a little better. We're still waiting on those two things to come in. Uh, Oregon Supplements packages, they ended up back in California. So I think it's like another thousand dollars to reship them out here, complete logistical nightmare. Uh, that's one of the packages. The other package did pass customs clearance and it's in New York now. So we should be getting that package early this week. We'll announce that stuff in the next vlog when we get it. And maybe we'll get the other stuff towards the end of the week too, not really sure. But within two weeks, everything we've been waiting for should be back in stock. Uh, I'll try to keep it positive, but like my accountant was auditing some charges and like my uh, my website provider charged me like $6,000 worth of stuff over the past three years um, that they shouldn't have. So I'm trying to sort that out. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to have another headache. But uh Hey, you know, maybe, maybe eventually I have to start biting back at these assholes after they steal money from me, but, you know, what am I going to steal money back? Like, anyway, I'll complain about that when it comes to it. But that's it, guys. So, frank com to check out all of my interesting businesses where you guys will see these unique and affordable products. And I did want to mention a lot of the stuff, guys, like the potato chips, the jardinera, uh, the cookies we have. There's... 
a lot of things that are only good for like three to four weeks. So, you know, if you guys do like them and do enjoy them, you know, keep buying them. So we have an idea of the inventory we need to keep uh, so that we don't have like product going bad. We want people to get everything as fresh and as good as possible. Uh, so thanks again for joining, guys. We'll see you for the next vlog.